Egg of the way. Welcome to Big D Country again. I am I I, I am really heartbroken. I I am really heartbroken right now. I mean, this makes me so glad that I'm not in Missouri anymore, even though I might not get my blind pension again because I'm here in Texas. Uh, I don't even know what last check was sent or if I'm going to get a last check. But, I mean, I can't believe this. I mean, after everything with all the deaths of WWE, then we had somebody from Smash Mouth die, then Bob Barker. Uh, I think there was another actress from, um, oh, I forgot the show. Chief Justice know what I'm talking about. Chief Justice know what I'm talking about. And, and I'm glad I did the week one and week two of the NFL pickup early because I didn't know I was going to have a breakdown. But, I mean, did we have to start the NFL season like this? And by the way, I, I, I keep saying that Rams will be controversial and but it's usually going to be because this one is going to be controversial you see I'm half black half white and I even uh, married a, uh, a white woman and I have uh, I have interracial friends as well so if you don't want to listen to this rant I urge you I implore you do not listen to this rant if race affects you and if you don't like what, uh, what, the, what I'm about to say, please turn this off right now. I know how to protect myself. I know how to protect my show other than, other than having food or whatever. But I know how to protect myself. So if you do not, if you do not like what I'm going to say, please, with, with all of my heart, please turn off this show right now. Because this really, this really broke my heart. Uh, really, on the first day of the NFL season, this, this really broke my heart. Really broke my heart. After another broken heart, when I wasn't even coming from there, I didn't even go come home from Denver. You know, the last day of the podcast, uh, podcast movement, last day, two deaths. Then, you know, trying to rest after trying to let everything settle in. Then all of a sudden, coming into coming into uh, yeah, coming to Galveston. Then. Bob Barker passed. Then I think it's another actor, uh, actress who passed. And then, turn around, somebody from Smash Mouth passed. And then, now, I can't play anything on Button, uh, Button Live. Nobody's helping me. And now, and now, now this story. I can't even catch a break. I just can't catch a break. Okay, so what I'm going to talk about, I'll say it again. If you do not, if you're on one side of the race card issue, and you do not like what people say when it comes to race, when it comes to things involving racism, do not, I repeat, and even if you're underage, and you don't understand what this means, do not, do not listen to this podcast. There's other podcasters that, uh, there's other podcasts that I did. You can listen to them. There's other rants that I did. You can listen to them. Do not listen to the podcast. I'll even do the Jeopardy thing to, uh, to make sure that kids are turned away or, uh, everybody else that do not, uh, like racism when it comes to podcasts, then, you know, please turn this off right now. Find a warning. I am heartbroken now. All right. So if everybody that is mature enough to listen to this or able to, to handle what I'm about to say, listen to this, is on this here. Okay. All right. So here I am, traveling on along, checking emails, and then I saw something from the Western Journal that really broke my heart. I mean, we're already a day into the 2023 NFL season. 
And the 2023 NFL season actually started in Kansas City. I don't know if Missouri side or the Kansas side, but either way, it started in, in Kansas City no matter what. And even though I already ranted about the loss of the one point to the Lonely Lions, 21 to 20, which I'm still shocked over. Now, I can't catch a break. I can't catch a break. Because what about this year? You really broke my heart. Now, mind you, the NFL have been doing this every voice thing and the Star Fingal Banner on every Super Bowl. You hear in the beginning of every Super Bowl, lift up your voice this thing and a Star Spangled Banner. Okay, every single uh, Super Bowl, they had different stars singing the uh, the different song every year. What happened this year at Arrowhead Stadium was a disgrace, and it's really sad. It made me proud not to be where the game was held at. Although I still would like to cheat, but. That that what happened, with the, and the choir was the one that was singing the song. You got kids being booed out of the building, and that's not right. That was not right. That broke my heart when I read that story. That broke my heart. You got kids singing, lift every voice and sing, and yet you you cheer a, a, a celebrity that's already got Grammys and whatever like that, Christian artists that already got Grammy, all because of singing the national anthem. And that's not that's 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 really sad. That really hurt. That really hurt. You boo kids out of a building, local kids out of a building, and yet it cheered a celebrity who could always get the high notes. I'm gonna read this story. This really burned me up. This is from the Western Journal, and I will definitely get the uh, uh get the uh. Uh, get the uh, story on the marquee so you can read it for yourself if it, will, if it will let me come on. Okay, I had to do it that way. Uh, this is really ridiculous. Okay. Uh, what well, says, watch. NFL, NFL, and, uh, NFL anthem decision. Um, okay, no. Come on. Will you let me read the story? I got a rant on here. NFL, the anthem decision call, uh, causes kickoff to start with booze from fans. Okay. Uh, this is a story by Richard uh, Richard Moorhead, September 8th. And this was uh, literally uh, 4.44 a.m. Literally. There's a beautiful picture of Arrowhead Stadium, which is going to be on the marquee of this rant. Okay. And it says... Uh, Okay, yeah, this is also crazy. I'm not going to read the first part. I'm going to let uh, you read the first part whenever you want to. Uh, the NFL, the National uh, Football League uh, season kicked off Thursday to the sounds of booze. Uh, some fans weren't happy when a local choir performed a song considered by some to be the Black National Anthem uh, before the Kansas City Chiefs hosted uh, the Detroit uh, Lions in the uh, the league season opener at Arrowhead, Arrowhead Stadium. Uh, the choir the choir that uh, performed of uh, lift every voice and sing to place before the Star Spangled Banner, which is sung at every Super Bowl, every every Super Bowl, every Super Bowl, and um, the the to place before the Star Spangled Banner uh, was sung. Uh, the Kansas City Boys and Girls Club performed the rendition of the song, according to uh, KCTV TV. I don't know why it says twice, but anyway, uh, boos were audible after the performance. So this was actually after the performance. There was kids singing that song. You know, kids might be so nervous. You got fifty thousand fans, almost like in a wrestling event, and maybe their first and only time that they could perform. With uh, other people like that, it's really ridiculous. I'm not gonna read the uh, the tweets of the, of there. It's really ridiculous. It's really ridiculous. And it says here, uh, some supporters of the song noticed the negative reaction, uh, accusing the fan who expressed 
uh, displeasure of racism. It's unclear if the fans booing the performance were doing so because they saw it as a replacement to the Star Spangled Banner, which is not because they played in it during every Super Bowl. I've been watching the Super Bowl off and on for years. And that's how they always do the program. They open the program with Lift Every Voice and Sing. Then they do the uh, the Star Spangled Banner. Then they do the coin toss, and then they start the freaking game. Then they start the freaking game. It's been always like this. Now we got the one is that this is going to be the one that stop it. Anyway, let me read this again. It is unclear if the booing, uh, the if the booing the performers were doing so because they saw it as a replacement to the Star Spangled Banner, or if they objected to the race centric use of the song. Then, this is where it all t- troubled me. That kids that haven't even sang in public, you know, maybe only in school or something like that, that finally got a chance to sing in public, they get booed. And then a Christian artist who will probably get awards and stuff like that, they get they get the standing ovation. Christian artist Natalie Grant sang the national anthem afterwards. Okay. And... The NFL began, uh, all right, uh, yeah, okay, this, uh, I didn't see where his part was it, but let me read the rest of the story, I gotta, I gotta read this, because this really broke my heart, this really broke my something that's been done during every Super Bowl, I've been doing NFL pickups uh, uh, ever since I was in St. Louis, that's when I started doing the NFL pickup, and this really hurts, this really hurts. The NFL began arranging for performance of the Lift Every Voice and Sing in the 2020 season after a summer of facial protests and riots in the wake of George Floyd's death in Minneapolis uh, police custody. Tony Vincent, the late the lead executive vice president for football operations, wrote about the decision at the time on NFL.com. Uh... James Felton Johnson wrote the poem. Lift, uh, James Felton Johnson wrote the poem for "Lift Every Voice and Sing" in the late uh, 1800s. Uh, Vincent said it, it was put to music in uh, 1905 by the, his brother uh, John John Rossman Rossman Johnson. Sorry if I butchered that name and adopted by the NAACP as its official song in uh, 1919. Okay. Wow. Okay, this is this is really ridiculous. This is sad. So you mean I was the only vote that that said uh, should let every voice and sing be played in, uh, before the national anthem in every NFL football game, I was the only lonely yes, and ninety nine said no. Ninety nine percent said no. Wow, this is sad. This is literally sad. This is literally, this is literally sad. What if our country become to? I ask you, what if I, I just, I just, you know, I went to podcast movement evolution. I heard Stephen A. Smith, okay, and you know. He, you know, he's the one of the greatest African American uh, sports commentators, well, sports commentators, sports uh, journalists on ESPN. And he did a really good, he did a really good, uh, he did a really good closing interview keynote. I think it's a fireside chat. And then turn around, we have to do this. So they don't like the nat- they don't like the national anthem after lift every voice and thing. Okay, so why not we do the national anthem and then lift every voice and sing? How's that? Okay, what, what, what about that? Can we do that? Is that even possible? Can we do the national anthem and then lift every voice and sing? Will that satisfy everything? Let me read the rest of the story before I lose my sanity that I've already have. As a child attending Jefferson Elementary School in the Trenton, New Jersey public school system, uh, the song was part of our morning ritual. Uh, this is one of the, uh, the, the, the uh, I guess, one of the interviewers that was uh, 
interview for this article. Uh, we thanked along with it right before placing our hands over our heart and pledging allegiance to the American flag. Yes, that happened too at school. Yes, yes. That's a lot, lot of schools do the American, uh, the uh, the Pledge of Allegiance. They do the national anthem and then the thirty fourth thing. All that. I mean, is this how a country become? I mean, this is ridiculous. This is are we going back to the terrible times of our country again? This is the thing. It breaks my heart when I'm in this story. And I do the NFL pickup. Anyway, many schools continue this tradition today. Uh, this Christian hymn about the struggle for freedom and equality inspired home. It also encouraged generations of black people uh, that God will lead us to the uh, promises of life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. It is, it is as per- permanent t- in today's environment as w- uh, was when it was written. Okay. And he, uh, he concluded by saying, uh, please redirect, uh, uh, read, f- reflect on the inspiration, inspirational meaning of lift every voice and sing. Let me copy this because I will be singing the song. I can't sing the national anthem song so loud. But I can think the lift every voice and sing, and maybe I'll do the national anthem later. Or maybe I, oh I can't I, I can't copy it. Oh wow, really? Come on, we're in the middle of a rant here. I'm gonna have to sing in the middle of the rant. Oh my God, really? Not gonna have to type it all up. But anyway, really. It says, uh, um, it says, please re- reflect on the inspirational meaning of lift every voice and thing and the rich uh, history and how it uh, might help in bringing unity to an, in, in a nation in need of healing. Uh, some fans have expressed their displeasure with a performance that uh, uh, seemingly distracts from the national anthem. And I can't get the other pictures. And the game that, uh, yeah, and the game that followed the the Chiefs uh, defeating uh, the Chiefs def- defending Super Bowl champion uh, suffered a 21-20 upset loss to the Lions, a team that barely missed the playoffs last year. So that would you just get me dumbfounded about this? I mean, I did that. Uh, I did. You know what? Let me find it. Let me try the song. I don't know how I'm going to sing the two songs, but this might be a longer broadcast. But uh, if I'm allowed to find it. Okay. All right. And if you don't like the song, you don't have to listen to it. You don't have to listen to the song. I am going to do it. Please. And I know the national anthem, but I might not uh, get the uh, get the words uh, get the words right because I do I do not. Okay, where's the lyric? Here it is. Ugh. Okay, where's the lyrics? Oh my God. I can't find the lyrics. Okay. I had to go to another website. Wait. Uh Okay. Here it is. Here it is. I'm gonna only gonna sing the few parts. Yeah, I'm only gonna sing the first part, the part that normally be read at school in different places. So I'm only gonna sing the, the first part and then I'm gonna sing the national anthem. So here we go. Lift every voice and sing to love and heaven ring, ring with the harmony of liberty. Let our rejoice in life high as our listening skies. Let it be sound 
loudest of all is she. Sing a song full of the faith that the dark path has brought taught us. Sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought us. Faith in the rising sun of a new day begun. Let us march on to victory. It's one. Now I know there's more parts of the song. Ooh, I don't know if I have any part to do the national anthem on this podcast, but I'll probably come back and do that. You know what? Maybe I could see. Yeah, because I can't put it up on YouTube. So I'll come back and do the national anthem too. Let me come back. Let me come back.